Hi, I'm Kelly Payne from Meat and Livestock Australia. For over two decades, Meat Standards Australia has developed an eating quality program for beef and sheep meat. We've conducted over 1.2 million sensory taste tests with untrained consumers to verify eating quality. We currently have 275 cut by cook combinations across the beef carcass and nine across sheep meat. This means we have 12 cook methods across most cuts in a beef carcass and two for sheep meat to ensure that consumers get the right cut by cook combination every time. The end result of consumer sensory is we have four eating quality grades. They are fail, three star, four star and five star. And we will discuss this in detail as we look at different cuts. Today we're going to discuss the eating quality outcomes or the cut by cook outcomes of lamb shoulder. Consumers have said some really interesting things about lamb and eating quality outcomes, which we'll refer to in a moment. But before we start, we have a square cut shoulder or a pair of square cut shoulders. And if we have a look closely, we can see that here's the eye muscle, or this is where the lamb rack came from, or the lamb cutlets came from. On this part of the square cut shoulder, we can see this is where the lamb shanks were removed. And then lastly, on this portion, we can see this is where the lamb neck was removed. But firstly, we're going to make a, a cut down either side of the spine here to remove the, to make sure that we can remove the eye muscle when we fleece off the shoulder from the rib cage here, from the four ribs on the rib cage. So firstly, let's make this cut down here, down the, the spine, I should say. making sure that we get the eye muscle out nice and cleanly so that we don't waste any of that, any of that precious muscle. Next, we will come down the rib cage and fleece off all of the meat down here, all this beautiful precious meat, and we'll get two cuts out of, out of this lamb shoulder. We'll get a neck fillet roast and a shoulder oyster cut roast. and we can get to work on our shoulder here. So what we've left with, and what we're going to now harvest, is a neck fillet roast and a shoulder oyster cut, which sits underneath and has the scapula on it. But all we have to do is find, follow the natural seam here and remove this muscle and pick up where the cutlet came from. So back to consumers. Consumers were telling us that as intramuscular fat or as marbling increases, so does eating quality. And they've also told us that as lean meat yield, that is the difference between lean muscle tissue and fat and bone, as that increases, eating quality declines. So consumers have given us some great information around eating quality for lamb and sheep meat. So we'll just roll out now the remainder of the neck fillet roast beautiful cut of meat, all eligible for roasting. And that will leave us with our, our beautiful shoulder oyster cut. So here's our neck fillet roast, which we can trim up. We have a big bit of ligament in here that we'll remove. And that will leave us with a little bit of fat to trim, ready for roasting. And there we have it, our neck fillet roast. And then we have our oyster cut. The same thing with the oyster cut. Shoulder, we simply tidy up, get rid of some of the excess fat. And there is a beautiful roast with the scapula still intact. So there we have it, two beautiful MSA lamb roasts prepared from square cut lamb shoulder. We have a neck fillet roast and a shoulder oyster cut roast. Whether you're preparing for a backyard barbecue or a large corporate function, the Meat Standards Australia Eating Quality Program ensures that you get the right cut 
for the right cook method every time.